With the present video, we're going to start a series of videos on uh, animation of graphics. And we're going to be addressing the animation using Plot2D. A Plot2D is the native plotting function for two dimensions in SMS Studio and can be found by doing insert Plot2D. And we get a uh, graphic, an XY graphic, with a single entry point around here. That's exactly what we had in the worksheet right there. We can define a function, and I define here the function f of u, 2.5 sine of u. But when we enter the definition of a function in Plot2D, it has to be referred to as f of x. That is a requirement of the software. Once you have a... Um, function entered there, it will give you a trace of the function within the um, grid that was generated, which has a standard format. It will give you a, a continuous line, which you can then transform using the plot um, panel here into a graph by points or back to a continuous line. I, I've shown you here, this is the continuous line, this is the point. We're going to now define three functions. F1, which is the same as before, F2 of V, and F3 of W. So we're changing the, the independent variable in each one of them. But when we want to plot them all together into a plot 2D, you have to create a system consisting of three uh, positions to create a system. You will type, for example, all under sign F um, colon, and then go in here into the functions palette and click on system. We need three, so we put a comma there. If we put a comma, then it will give you an additional point, and then you can start typing the name of the function, but they all have to be functions of x, okay? And then you enter that system that you call all f into the entry point of the graphic, and you get the graphic, and then you can convert it to points or back to continuous lines. <clears throat> so that's how you would plot a function. Now, how do you plot a matrix representing x, y data points? If you want to plot plot the polygon, you put the coordinates of the, the vertices as x, y columns in, in, a, in a matrix of two columns. And then you want to repeat the first point to make sure to close the plot. And so once you create that matrix M and you type M in here, you get the, the continuous lines joining the vertices. If you change this to points, you're only going to get the point that you can see there. Back to continuous line gives you the polygon. In the next example, I have three different matrices, and I create a uh, system that I call all M. And when I plot it in here, you get the three different polygons that have been set by creating this, these matrices. And if you want to change the points, you get the, only the vertices. If you want to continuous line, you get back the polygons. All right. Another thing you can do is is to uh, enter a symbol in the graph. In which case, suppose that you want to enter a single symbol, you got to enter a vector, a, a row vector with five elements. And the first two is the coordinates where you're going to start the, the symbol. The next one is the symbol that's got to be everything quotes. The next one is the size of the symbol, and next one, the next one is the color. If you change things here, like to, for example, 25, you're going to see the size increasing here. And you can also change the color here to, let's say, red. And it will change the color right there. That is single, a single symbol that you're going to plot. In the next example, I have a matrix of five rows, and each row represents a symbol. You have a plus with a blue color, 20 size. You get a, a dot of size 25 uh, in color black. You have an asterisk, size 30 in green. That's 
at the very origin. That's the little star that shows it up in there. You get the um, the um, uh, ampersand. Uh, I'm sorry, the add symbol down here below, and then you also have a light blue um, O, which basically turns into a circle. Um, if you have a function and you want to turn it into a number of points for plotting, you could start by creating a range of values of x. Recall that a range is created by typing the word, and right here, the right hand side, the word range, and then the starting number, the ending number, and then the number that will follow to the starting number, and that creates a matrix that goes from minus 10 down to 10. And this, the three dots shown in here indicates that there is more points down below. We don't need to see that. We just want to make sure that our range is given there. And I'm going to create variables called symbol, size, and color. And then I have a little function here called endpoints or matrix points. <coughs> We're going to enter the range of values of x, of x, the symbol that we use, the size, and the color get the length of x to see how many points we're going to create. Then create a matrix starting with a single row corresponding to the very first point. And then we're going to add the points again from 1 to n, stacking the existing point with x of 1 again, actually. I could probably start with x equal 2 here with 2. And yeah, I want you to make any change. Then I call the function storing the results into a matrix M. And then I get the results presented in this point. Suppose that you want to create another matrix, and it's called the matrix N. I'm going to create a different range. I'm going to go xn. Instead of going from minus, minus 10 to 10, I'm going to go from minus 5 uh, to 5. And the uh, next number is going to be 4.75. Okay. And so I'm going to enter this xn as my range of values of x. For a symbol, I'm going to enter a plus sign. Say, and the size we use 10 in before. Let's use a, like a 20, and the color let's use red. Okay, so that created a matrix. The matrix is now showing in the graph still, but I could go here, insert the system, and put n in there, and you can see the points showing up in there. Maybe there's too many points. I'm gonna go for 4.5. That's a less number of points coinciding with points in the range, in the middle range of the blue graphic. And so that's how you could um, create graphics uh, using individual points if you're given a function and you want to create a matrix. All right, the next one is creating a, a matrix to plot points with symbols given in the original XY matrix. So now instead of giving a function as we did in here, we're going to give a matrix and we're going to use also the specifications for symbol, size, and color. And all we're going to be doing is transforming the matrix of points into a matrix of symbols with colors and so on. For example, you have a matrix of point MXY, and symbol will be uh, um, circle, size 15, color blue. And then I call the function M point M. And produce a matrix M, and that matrix gives me my points right here. Now, suppose you want to join this point, then you got to do is plot the original matrix M with the, I'm sorry, the, the original matrix MXY with the matrix M of points, and you get that collection of things there. You could have three um, polygons represented by matrices. Create the corresponding matrices that come in the MXY, MX2, MXY2, MXY3. Plot the points in the, in the vertices with symbols and add the the coordinates will, will join the points and that's how you will end up plotting polygons. So this is a, a quick review of how to use plot2d because we're going to use it. 
in uh, upcoming applications of animations.